Hello, today's Bible study comes from Mark chapter 14, verses 12 through 26, and it reads as follows. On the first day of the festival of unleavened bread, when it was customary to sacrifice the Passover lamb, Jesus' disciples asked him, Where do you want us to go and make preparations for you to eat the Passover? So he sent his two disciples, telling them, Go into the city, and a man carrying a jar of water will meet you. Follow him. Say to the owner of the house he enters, The teacher asks, Where is my guest room, where I may eat the Passover with my disciples? He will show you a large room upstairs, furnished and ready. Make preparations for us there. The disciples left, went into the city, and found things just as Jesus had told them. So they prepared the Passover. When evening came, Jesus arrived with the twelve. While they were reclining at the table eating, he said, Excuse me, truly I tell you, one of you will betray me, one who is eating with me. They were sad, and one by one they said to him, Surely you don't mean me. It is one of the twelve, he replied, one who dips bread into the bowl with me. The Son of Man will go just as it is written about him. But woe to that man who betrays the Son of Man. It would be better for him if he had not been born. While they were eating, Jesus took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take it, this is my body. Then he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, and they all drank from it. This is my blood and the covenant, which is poured out for many. He said to them, Truly I tell you, I will not drink again from the fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. When they had sung a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Now, on the first day of the Festival of Unleavened Bread, it's telling you the day this occurred. When it was customary, they were supposed to sacrifice the Passover lamb, and they asked him where were they supposed to eat the meal to do this sacrifice, to do this God's tradition. And so he sent two of his disciples telling them, and he, you can see he had always already prophesied and knew that this was going to be there. He said, go into the city and a man carrying a jar of water, very specific, will meet you. Follow him next. Say to the owner of the house he enters. The teacher asks, where is my guest room where I may eat the Passover with my disciples? First of all, they had to know who the teacher was. And they had to believe, and they must have, because he could. He prophesied you to walk up to a stranger and to give him this information and see what he would say. He will show you a large room upstairs. Uh oh, Jesus is telling us what's going to be there. A large room is going to be furnished and ready. Make preparations for us there. The disciples left. Went to the city and found things just as Jesus had told them. So they prepared a Passover. The disciples left and what Jesus had told them was true. And they went there and started cooking. When evening came, Jesus arrived with the twelve, meaning with the disciples in the evening. While they were reclining at the table eating, he said, Truly I tell you, uh-oh, Jesus knows, always knows, and he says that truly I tell you, one of you will betray me, one who is eating with me. So Jesus is telling him, it's going to be one of you twelve. He hasn't said which one, and he already knew which one it was, but he just says one of you twelve. They were sad, and one by one they said to him, surely you don't mean me. And they didn't want it to be them. It is the one of the twelve, he replied, one who sits here and eats with me right now. He dips bread into the bowl with me. He's eating here. The Son of Man will go just as it's written about him. But woe, uh-oh, here's one of them woes. To that man who betrays the Son of Man, and he's saying this strongly and forcefully, it would be better for him if he had not been born. Wow. Ooh, wow, well, that's strong. While they were eating, Jesus took bread. This is not the bread of the full meal. This is a separate thing. This this thing that they're about to do is not one of those meals to fill you up. 
And when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take it. This is my body. Then he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, and they all drank from it. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many, he said to them. This is in memory of. This is in memory of Christ. And these sacraments, these usages of bread and wine are for the remembrance of him and the covenant. This is the blood of the covenant that we are to remember what he did. And it says, which is poured out for many. It's poured out for all who want it. He said to them, truly I tell you, I won't do this again from the fruit of the vine until God's kingdom is here. It won't happen again with you until God's kingdom is here. And what did they do next? They sang a hymn. Then they went out to the Mount of Olives. Amen.